Welcome back, everyone. Criminal Archer here. Time for some more Project Zomboid. So we just lo looted the uh, little police station here, and I think we got pretty much probably everything that's worthwhile, but we're going to check the rest of it anyways. I seem to remember being disappointed by this uh, particular place every single time. Because I'm like, there's got to be something else useful in this place, and there never is, so... But who knows, maybe we'll get lucky this time. Comic book. Somewhat useful. Cube. I still think they should let you use, like, the tennis balls or the, the Rubik's Cube you can find as, like, a, a way to, to uh, fight back boredom. I think that would be a good addition to the game. Instead of just, instead of just flavor items like they are now. Another school bag. I need hiking bags, not school bags. Nobody in the showers. Not sure why I bothered to open this. I have to kill a zombie I didn't have to before. Don't fall down, buddy. There we go. And there. I suppose we can fill our uh, water bottle up. Alright, yeah, it's just an empty hallway. Okay. This is a bathroom. All right. I feel like there's one more locked door in here somewhere. But maybe I'm remembering correctly. Oh, um, zombies are starting to filter in. Yeah. Okay, the, we have the key for that one too, apparently. Uh, this does not have any storage. This is just the backyard area, yeah. Which doesn't have anything useful in it, I don't think. Ooh, hello zombies. Oh, man, yeah. hello zombies. Alright, um, hmm. Let's stop and think about where we're going next. Is this an exterior door? No, it is. I never noticed that one before. Alright, so I'd like to go up to the shops that are near here, but I'm not sure we're going to be able to get there without having to deal with all this zombie-related nonsense. But maybe we can pull it off. It'll be very sneaky. Very sneaky. Alright, so there's the... that's the... City Hall, which is usually not very useful, so we're going to just kind of slide by that if we can. Do, 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 no zombies, no zombies, alright, good enough. Nope, nope, all this running's going to attract a lot of attention. Alright. Hey, this is open. Can't stay in here for very long though, because all those zombies are gonna come here. Let's eat this pie. I think there's a back door out of this place too, actually. This is like Mama McFudgington's or something like that. I can't remember the name of this store. I remember it being hilarious though. Oh, that is not where I wanted to go. Open, please. Thank you. That's. Take what we can. Alright, I'm, I'm already hearing. Yeah, window already broke. So let's just slide out of here. Thread. I should take that thread, probably. I don't know. I don't know if the thread's good for anything, but just to be safe. Canned beans. Let's eat this cake. I guess we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to put up the second bag up here. So we are running out of space. I'll take the beans, why the hell not? Whiskey bottle. We can make ourselves a Molotov. Although I think I'm kind of... Aside from just to be uh, entertaining, I'm kind of over the uh, the fire zombie situation. I might still do it occasionally because I'm just trying to entertain. More than... Like, I want to play the game well. 
that's definitely one of my tactics, but being entertaining is also an important um, aspect of this gameplay for, as far as I'm concerned. So fire zombies can be a lot of fun sometimes. So I won't say I'm completely over them. I'm over them in terms of something that I would do for strategic value, but it's not to say that I won't ever do it again. This is probably actually kind of a dumb place for me to be. Considering there are now zombies, I think, knocking on the doors at my uh, feet. Some ham. Mm, something just broke. Oh, it's more of those windows down there. Really? Does it take you that long to eat a ham? What oh, is negative 60? Yeah, that's a big ham. Why not? <laughs> Let's go to town, man. Alright, I need to really probably not be here. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get out of here because this is Um actually never mind. I can see a bunch of zombies down there. So we are going to take a different route, which is to try and make a sheet rope, which there was a sheet in here, wasn't there? Did I see a sheet? Yes. Alright, so we've got one sheet rope, I'm gonna need two. Can we do that at this? Alright, I think they just broke the door. Oh, hello. I, I need you to die, lady. I got zombies. They're up, up in my grill. I gotta get out of here. Let's go out this window. Carpentry. How do I? I'm gonna need a nail, probably. I have some, right? Please tell me I have some nails. Yes, I do. Add sheet rope. I'll just go out this way. There's a whole bunch of zombies just went into that place where we were, and I do not want to get eaten today. This is a bank. It doesn't probably have anything particularly useful and definitely doesn't have anything useful enough to keep me here when alarm is going off. <laughs> I'm going to try to just get out of the line of sight here and let them all go where they're going. Oh, zombies. Always always getting in, got in my way. Oh, can't get in there. Hey, no backtracking, lady. I'm going to give it just a second. See what they're up to. Let's eat these grapes, because why not? How's my health doing, by the way? It's still full, full weight. All right. Oh, they're still all cruising along. Hopefully, that's the. Nope, not the edge of it. All right, let's just get out of here. Too many zombies. survivor house not gonna try to get in there probably some good stuff in there but not worth the effort all right not gonna worth worry about that either <laughs> bunch of zombies in there Let's see if we can get in here hey a generator Glue I should probably take. Electronic scrap, more nails, wood glue. Propane torch. A lot of charcoal these days. It was something they added recently. I'm gonna take this metal sheet too. Or maybe not. 
that I don't know I don't really know what it's for. It seems to be popping up a lot though. Alright, so let's see. Get in here. I really wanna want some proper bags. Try. That is not a proper bag, but I will take it. Can chili. Nothing in there. Take this banana. Can't really carry all this food anymore, so I'm gonna have to leave some of this behind, so let's just leave. I'm gonna move this stuff into their into the freezer here, in case I ever come back by. Which I most likely won't, but we can all pretend. Yeah, screw the watermelons. Oh, hello, zombie. Fall over. There you go. Metal working for intermediates. I either have that book or it's too far away to worry about. I don't know which is which. But I'm gonna go with cause stand by that. Nothing. All right. Anything in here? Nope. Come on, bag. That one. That one. Man, it's gonna be a bathroom. It's just not gonna have a bag in it. Oh, it does have a bandage. Or sheets. All right. Okay, let's get out of here. There's some zombies jump on the fence behind me. Let's see if we can hit this uh, little shack first. I will not be denied by a simple door. Charcoal, small metal sheet, scrap metal. Why not? A lot of hammers. Yeah, yeah. Stupid broken windows. I just kind of wonder what that noise is supposed to be. Like the the noise that that hits when when you uh, fail to open a window. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I accept that it's the sound of a. Uh, I think I have these books already. Except that it's the sound of window no longer being able to be opened, but I don't actually know what it is supposed to be, you know? If anybody has any insight on that, please tell me. I would love to know. Honey, I will take. Honey for my honey. I'm gonna take all this. Not sure if I have space for all this stuff anymore. Let's eat the ice cream. Might not be able to get it home, so I feel like it's the best plan. The store has not been opened yet. Alright. Bathroom. Alright. Next house. Thought I saw a zombie in here for a second. This must have been my imagination. Nope, there is something in here. Another bandage. Bag is so full it can't even accept a bandage. That's that's a full bag. All right, I can't take any more food. Right, after we kill these two zombies, I'll probably check this next house, um, and then head try to head back to our home base, drop stuff off. I think I remember where our home base is. A little turned around, I'm being honest. <laughs> eh, maybe I won't bother with this house. There's a lot of zombies in there banging around and not worth the effort. Scrap metal. Metalworking magazine. It sounds like there's a zombie right behind me. Um, yikes. Oh god. Whoa, that was close. 
<laughs> oh, this is the school we were at before. That was a little tight. <laughs> the, uh, on my second monitor, I have my, my audio being recorded. I have my, it's called a program called Audacity that, that, uh, records it. And watching that giggle, that maniacal giggle that I just did on the waveform was kind of hilarious looking. But I think, I think the house is just kind of over this fencing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just right here. Okie dokie. Let's put stuff away. I should probably get that. I should probably put that get that corpse out of here. I don't think they've ever actually implemented the thing where the corpses bother you, but bothers me intellectually. Alright, so all that's in there. Egg's gonna go in there too. Alright, other food. What else we got? That's all the food in there? Hmm, huh. I had more food than that. Do we ever find a trowel? I can't remember if we ever found a trowel. So it might be time to start thinking about planting some crops. Comic book. Get rid of most of this stuff here. I don't need the shotgun right now. Thread. Right, I'll put all that away. All right. So this bag is empty again, which means that we can unequip it. You know, once she's done moving stuff around. And that means we can put this. Actually, let's. Let's make this into a spiked baseball bat. Tends to lower its like durability. Doesn't last as long. But that's okay. Plus it looks more much more badass than what we had before. <laughs> Open please. I'm gonna look a little ways down here. I wanna see if there's anything right over here. Not sure if there will be, but I'm curious. I wanna see. This is generally speaking the direction I would like to travel in from here on out. But I don't know. I don't want to go too far too soon. But we're just gonna look around a little bit since it's like three o'clock in the afternoon and we don't have that much to do right now. It's like there might not be anything over here for a while. It's a very big empty field though, that's for sure. Not a lot of trees. Sort of surprising. Alright, we'll run just a little bit further. And then when it's clear that there's oh, something's the ground is changing here. Alright. Count to five. One, two, three, four, five. I see anything? Anything around me at all? No. All right. Never mind. Well, we got out and ran around a little bit. It's good for a good exercise. <laughs> Let's head back. I did read this magazine. Okay, we can just leave that magazine behind. Nope, nope, nope. Not my water bottle. Just wanted to leave the magazine behind. Right. Yep, I'm running further than I thought I did. <laughs> Run up north a little bit, and then we'll cut back through because there might be something up here. There's a very clear dividing line there that between uh, one like tiling or or another. I don't know exactly what it is, but. Looks like there was work done in one spot and maybe just automatically built in the other. 
don't know what their building things are. Also, I didn't talk about it, but Build 35 is officially released now. Um, which means that those of you who are not on the test branch, which is what I'm playing on most of the time, should have it now. I'm also going to get rid of this body. Um, which is good, because I, I, it means I don't have to have those questions about why their thing's not updated. But it also, of course, means, in less good news, that the animation update is never gonna, is not happening this build, which is very sad, because that's what I'm... The next big thing that I'm looking forward to is the animation update. Alright, put that back in our hands here. And I'm going to stop here for today, and I'll see you guys later.